Hi everyone! Today we will talk about how to clean and sanitate hard surfaces when the greenhouse is empty to prevent pests and disease problems in new crops. Hard surfaces may include floors, tables, pots and irrigation systems. Let's start with what is sanitation and why we sanitize. The American Phytopathological Society defines sanitation as the destruction or removal of infected and infested plants or plant parts, decontamination of tools, equipment, containers, workspaces, hands, etc. Sanitation is a preventing approach to protect, eliminate, or reduce the introduction or spread of pests and plant pathogens in greenhouses. Some insects and plant pathogens can persist on hard surfaces, like floors, benches, containers, pruning tools, and equipment. They can also survive in organic matter, like weeds, substrates, and plant debris. For example, some pathogens like Rhizoctonia or Pithium can be found in substrate debris or pots in the greenhouse. Another example is biofilm a thick slime that builds up on surfaces, especially in irrigation lines. Biofilm can harbor pathogens and algae spores in clogged germinators. Sanitation is the process of removing these potential contaminants from the production area. Putting in place sanitation practices is less expensive than trying to remediate problems by repeated pesticide applications or crop losses due to diseases. The sanitation process on hard surfaces consists of two main steps. Number one, physical removal of organic and inorganic matter. And number two, decontamination with chemical disinfectants. Physical cleaning involves removing any organic and inorganic matter from any surface. Organic matter includes plant and substrate debris and weeds. Inorganic matter includes dust particles and cell buildup. Organic and inorganic matter can harbor pathogens and pests and reduce the efficacy of chemical disinfectants. Therefore, always clean first and then sanitize. Start by removing large debris such as plant residues from the previous production cycle, weeds, and dirty containers. Empty the whole greenhouse before cleaning thoroughly. Remove weeds from inside and outside of the greenhouse. Weeds can be reservoirs of diseases and insect pests that can be a vector of them. Once the greenhouse is completely empty, brush, scrap, or power wash walls, benches, and floors to ensure all algae, dust, root fragments, and substrate residues are removed. Clean upper level surfaces first and then sweep or use a shop vacuum cleaner on concrete floors or floors covered with landscape fabric to remove all plant debris, potting media, algae, and mosses, followed with a high-pressure water cleaning. Non-porous surfaces are easier to clean than porous surfaces. For example, it is easier to clean a stainless steel bench than it is to clean an untreated wood bench. The porosity and organic composition of the wood makes it more suitable for pathogens to persist and it may also interact with sanitizers. However, all surfaces can harbor algae and pathogens. Do your best to clean them well. Many growers use specific greenhouse cleaners such as a heavy-duty acid cleaner that can be applied with a foaming attachment to remove organic matter and mineral deposits without scrubbing. Apply with a foamer and allow it to sit for 5 minutes before rinsing with a high power hose. This solution can also be used to sew containers in a large tub for 3 to 5 minutes and then rinse with abundant clear water. If possible, use new plug trays or pots for each new crop to avoid the risk of contamination. If containers are reused in your operation, assess the risk of reusing them. Small containers such as plug trays can be difficult to clean because the inside corners may accumulate organic matter. Remember that young plants are more susceptible to disease infection than mature plants. Therefore, 
Pay a specific attention when cleaning propagation trays and avoid reusing trays and containers in susceptible crops. A disinfectant is a product that kills microorganisms. In greenhouses, the goal is not to sterilize a surface. That will not be practical. Instead, we want to reduce the inoculant. There are many different commercially available products that can be used in greenhouses. Read the label and instructions for application procedures and authorized uses. Some commercially available disinfectants include quaternary ammonium compounds, the combination of hydrogen peroxide with peroxyacetic acid, among others. Apply the product in all the surfaces that you previously cleaned. Rinse with the bundled water to avoid leaving chemical residues on the surfaces. All sanitizers can damage the plants and are irritants to the skin. Therefore, rinse properly and with the bundled water and always use appropriate personal protective equipment. For pots and trays, place them in a large container with a solution of a disinfectant label for use on containers. So container for 10 minutes and then rinse them with clear water. For irrigation systems, remove emitters and flush your lines to remove any material that accumulated inside. Between crops, use a disinfectant label for irrigation systems. Fill the lines with the disinfectant and allow it to sit for several hours to overnight. After treatment, run the irrigation lines with the bond on clear water to clear the system. When possible, test for chemical residues at the end of the line to ensure that there is no risk of toxicity. The same products can usually be used to clean irrigation lines while plants are present. However, the rates are much lower than the recommended rates for empty greenhouses. Always read the label of the product for a specific doses. Check the description of this video to find more information on some of the more common disinfectants used in greenhouses. To learn more about practices that you can implement to avoid the introduction and spread of pests and pathogens through your greenhouse, check our videos on practices to maintain a clean greenhouse during the growing season and with control as part of sanitation practices in greenhouse producing ornamental plants. Find the links in the description of this video. Remember, always start clean and keep it clean.